huge champions are people who sit outside the school who are available to provide support for the coaches who work in schools. Now sometimes in some school jurisdictions there are coaches who work in multiple schools and the coach champion is someone who holds the best interest of the coach in mind. Whether those coaches are assigned to a school or whether they work in multiple schools. And here's the reason why I like a coach champion not to be the school principal. So school principals, listen carefully to this. Try not to be offended by what I'm going to say. Because I know sometimes you might think, well, I'm that person. And I would agree with you wholeheartedly. You are holding the best interest of the coach in mind. However, you have a much better and bigger task to be paying attention to, and that is the success of every educator within your school and every student in your school. And because you may only have one coach, sometimes in the very busy day that you have, the focus on the success of the coach is subordinated to many other major tasks on your plate. Sometimes, too, coaches have conflicts or challenges with their principals. And they may need a confident confidant outside of the school if they're having a problem with a particular teacher that they don't feel comfortable bringing to you because of a breach of confidentiality, for example. And so having a champion who resides outside of the school who can serve as a champion to support the coach in those situations is sometimes better than expecting the school principal to serve that role. So a champion is a person who coaches the coach, in a sense, who helps the coach problem solve, who allows the coach to process, who may step in when there's a potential problem or conflict, who monitors and supports and is responsible for the professional development of the coaches. So that's who a coach champion is. And we began talking about the importance of this role many years ago when we discovered that when coaches were assigned to schools, out of no one's fault at all, those coaches were doing a million different things. And very quickly, their task and their focus became pulled away, started to being pulled away from improving instruction because there's so many things to do in a school and never enough hands. There's an interesting research study that was done about literacy coaching in Florida that basically in the result of the study said coaching doesn't work. And it was troublesome to me and I pulled the study and I started reading it and here's what I discovered. The coaches were spending less than 50% of their time actually coaching. They were involved in so many administrative tasks. And I think you know how that can easily happen. A coach is available. A coach is competent. A coach is willing. And I could go on. <laughs> 